during these three days, we will try to we will try to figure out what is the most suitable set of uh, intellectual tools to 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 contribute to the bridge that we are trying to build between our economic and social approach with this more environmental oriented one. What we can say just to move forward is that even though it is hard right now uh, to, to, to have a complete picture of, the, of, uh, of these issues, three main questions have been clearly appearing to us in, uh, in, uh, in dealing with this complex research agenda. Um, we would like to point, it out, point them out to your attention because I think these, some of these issues will be at the heart of the discussion we will have in these three days. Again, these three items are not necessarily the agenda for these three days, but they do represent research questions that we have been already discussing, discussing in these last two years. I'll start with the first one, the governance structure. And let me, let me say one word about what has happened to me personally, uh, no more than three months ago at uh, one OECD presentation that I had in Paris. Um, we presented the, uh, I was in charge for presenting uh, Venice Metropolitan Area uh, report, which we were in charge to deal with uh, as a local team. And uh, we discussed it with uh, a set of referees that uh, were there to question, to, to put under scrutiny our work. And one question was, uh, you guys, you in the Veneto region, in the Venice metropolitan area, have plenty of these small size enterprises that are linked in these industrial districts. Do you really think that uh, this kind of uh, industrial structure fits the the next uh, you know environmental upgrading agenda? Do you think that small firms without a specific leader will be able to move up in uh, the uh, in the ladder of uh, environmental upgrading? without, you know, specific technological and scientific competences. I think this is one question that is at the heart of the debate. What do we believe? Do we prefer? Do we, th do we see, you know, the Walmart, uh, you know, well-discussed uh, approach with a very clear hierarchical leader in the value chain as the most viable solution for governing these processes, or do we believe that uh, the Italian-style industrial districts can cope with the process of environmental upgrading? I can tell you that I made, I gave an answer, obviously, to this OECD panelist, and I gave, uh, I gave an answer starting from the picture you see on uh, on your on your right you know it's uh, the water treatment plant uh, at the Chiampo Valley nearby the Tanner uh, district near Vicenza probably some of you know about it it's uh, it's amazing that in the same metropolitan area we do have uh, we do have uh, examples of different uh, uh, environmental upgrading and downgrading one example of downgrading you know there are now it's hard to see it from here but if you turn around you can see marghera it's an amazing it's an amazing case study of how a bunch a very limited number of small large very large corporation any any chem sindial uh, montedison have been able to have been able to um, to literally destroy part of the Venetian lagoon, and uh, um, we're now we're still struggling to recover uh, from an environmental point of view with the damages that uh, these large corporations have been 
creating in the last 30 years. Um, while, you know, the example of uh, the Tannery District in, uh, in Vicenza is a very virtuous example of uh, a group of firms that have been capable of anticipating systematically all the environmental challenges that uh, have been posed by the local community and the national and European community in the last 30 years. This does not mean that in the next future the same governance model will work the same way. We might have a shift, we might discover that the, the Walmart IKEA model might run differently and might be fitting better uh, you know, in the new, in the new uh, scenario we will have to face. But I think this is a crucial, mod a crucial issue that is truly linked with this idea of global production networks how do we how do we manage the complexity of these networks of these value chains how do we feel how do we analyze their governance model the second research questions we've been trying to focus on is linked to this idea this problem of measures and standards how to measure environmental upgrading, who set the standards and how and the measures to evaluate it. Uh, this again is a is a very is a very problematic issue that directly concerns the global production networks themselves. Uh, up to now the literature has pointed out four possibilities, you know, the role of lead firm as first, part, first party certification. We saw uh, industry level certification, but we also saw main, very many interesting case studies, independent third parties strongly influencing value chains and global production networks. Obviously, we have to take into account policymaker, governs, Actors that obviously economists have been relying on to regulate the complexity of the environmental arena. We try to depict in a picture with some key examples this clear division between a market-oriented approach and a state society approach. On the one hand, in the market arena, we have a firm-based standards, you know, traditional, very much, very strong codes of conduct such as iway for ikea but we see that uh, standards at the industry level like lead is you know a represent good, very good example of how now uh, sectors can regulate themselves and impose standards that are well known all around the world at the state and society level we see on the one hand uh, well, the traditional Kyoto cap and trade, you know, the emission trading system that uh, has been characterizing the debate in the last uh, in the last uh, uh, years. We will see what's going to happen in 2012. Uh, it's a very complicated mechanism, very hard to to manage, very complex, uh, and you know, politically speaking, very delicate. We see the emergency. Of a new uh, of a new generation of uh, um, indicators labels uh, uh, that are provided in guarantee by these NGOs, uh, the Forest Stewardship Council is a good example in this in this perspective. These uh, these 